Hi, I'm Colin at Opus Art Supplies, and I'm here today to show you how to varnish an acrylic painting and talk to you about the importance that varnishing plays in protecting and presenting your artwork. Much like the glass on a framed work on paper, varnish offers a removable protective surface that shields your paintings on canvas or panel from dirt, dust, scratching, and UV rays. Varnish also offers protection to the pigments as well, helping to preserve the integrity of your art. The first thing to do is to choose the type of varnish that you want to use. Artists generally choose their varnishes for the sheen they provide and for the impact that they have on their colors. Varnish comes in three sheens, gloss, satin, and matte. Here we have the painting unvarnished. Here we have the painting varnished with gloss. As you can see, the colors are much more rich and vibrant. And here is the matte varnish. Colors are much more subdued and softened, and a satin varnish would have a shine level somewhere in between the two. You can apply varnish either by spray or by brush. Today I'm going to be using the Golden Polymer Varnish in Gloss because I like the rich look that it gives the colors, and it doesn't require any extra ventilation like a spray would. Regardless of the varnish that you use, any water-based polymer varnish with UVLS, which stands for Ultraviolet Light Stabilizers, is a good option to use for acrylics. If you want a varnish that works on a variety of different mediums and offers the most protection, then you can also use a resin-based varnish like Golden MSA. Just note that you'll need to use solvent to thin and clean it up. Although acrylics dry quickly, you should wait at least a week before varnishing. Even if it's dry to the touch, acrylics are often still wet underneath. If you varnish before the painting has fully dried, the varnish can end up cloudy due to trapped moisture. Before we varnish our painting, we need to apply an isolation coat, which is a protective layer for your painting. An isolation coat is a layer of acrylic gel or medium that is crucial to the varnishing process because it acts as a barrier between the varnish and your painting. Without it, the varnish may dry to an uneven finish and the chemicals used to remove the varnish can damage your painting. It's important to remember that an isolation coat is permanent, so I would recommend testing it on a sample piece that's been done with the same materials before applying it to your final painting. To create the isolation coat, I'm going to use a two to one ratio of golden soft gel gloss and water. You don't want to over agitate it, which will introduce bubbles. So I like to swirl it a little bit at first, get it lightly mixed, and then go in gently with my brush. I usually start roughly in the center and then move my way out towards the edges. I like to use the soft gel because I find it doesn't hold the brush strokes quite as much as any other gel. It's got a nice silky feel, but it gives you a, a thick enough application that you can usually get away with just one coat. You could use Opus gloss medium, you could use gels. The important part is that it's the gloss, not a matte, in order to give full clarity of your painting. Some people will apply two coats. Some people apply one. Depends a little bit on the absorbency of your painting. The more absorbent ground, you'll want more coats to make sure that it's a nice, even layer. The isolation coat should be left to dry for at least 24 hours prior to varnishing. When your isolation coat's dry, you can move on to varnishing. Today, I'll be using the Gloss Golden Polymer Varnish. I like to use gloss for my first coat because you can always change it to matte or satin later. Today I'm using a Winsor Newton Cotman wash brush. It's got very nice soft synthetic bristles, but it's not too wide, so it doesn't hold too, too much varnish. I'm going to dilute this with a little bit of water. Always follow the instructions on your varnish for how much you need to dilute it. Golden recommends using four to one varnish to water for brush application. I recommend using a shallow container for holding your varnish. That way you're only dipping the lower third of the bristles into the varnish. I like to start in the center and then work my way out to the edges. That way you don't get varnish dripping down the sides. You don't need to use very much varnish. You actually want a nice thin application of varnish. Two thin coats is much better than one thicker coat. If you're varnishing a larger piece, it's recommended that you either divide the painting into sections or follow the shapes in the painting. Before your initial layers begin to tack up, make sure you go over them in order to even out any brush strokes that may still be there. When building up multiple layers of varnish on an acrylic painting, let the painting cure for three to six hours in between coats. 
Generally speaking, two or three coats of gloss varnish are sufficient. The more coats of gloss you apply, the better the ultraviolet protection. Matte or satin are usually applied in no more than two coats. If you're working in an area with a bit more dust or animal hair, you can place a box over top of your artwork while it's drying and that will prevent anything from falling on the surface of it. While it may feel dry to the touch within 24 hours or so, a several week time frame allows all the layers a chance to adequately cure. Varnishing your painting helps to ensure that it stays looking its best over the course of its lifetime. When varnished correctly and with care, artwork will have a removable protective layer, a unified sheen, and be ready to be put on display. I'm Colin with Opus Art Supplies, and thank you for watching.